sport growing in popularity is known for its violence. Some call it barbaric. But this story will make you think twice about any stereotypes you have. Amy Lester shows us the unlikely lifestyle of a cage fighter training right here in Oklahoma. It's like having another job. If you train correctly. He's prepared to face just about any opponent. I love to be able to basically know that the harder I work, the better I'm going to be. When Justin McCorkle's ready, he steps into a cage to compete. Come on, to the winner go the spoils. When you win, you know you have all the glory to yourself, but if you lose, you have no one to blame but yourself. He uses his bare hands, his legs, his body to win. It's like a chess match. You wait for them to make a mistake or you look for openings in their game. If you think just because he's a cage fighter, he's big, bad, and mean, think again. Hours before Justin even warms up. Justin, right here! Right here. Right here. He's surrounded by many much smaller opponents. They hit me a lot. They always like, you're a cage fighter, you should be able to take it. Okay, everybody sing Chris Cross Applesauce. Justin works at a daycare in Edmond. He talks the talk. Isn't that a quinkadink? He walks the walk, and the kids love him. Most jobs you have, it's just a job. You clock in and you go home. But I've been here over a year, so these kids are now not just a job, but like family. You have a good day? Uh-huh. When the kids' parents first found out about Justin's sport of choice, it was a bit of a shock. It was like, nah, -uh, at first. But then after that, I was like, oh, OK. You look at him, and you know he's a big guy. And what not, but I don't know if I should use the word sweet. I don't think someone in uniform is supposed to use the word sweet, but you know, he, he's just kind of a sweet guy. There you go. Right, right. Once he explained even sweet guys fight, the parents and kids embraced it. They've seen me come with black eyes from training and they're like, did you get in a fight, Mr. Justin? I'm like, no, my, my good friend did that and we're training. They're like, oh, okay, but it was just play, right? And I'm like, yeah, absolutely. Justin knows it's ironic that in the daytime he looks like this, and then come nighttime he looks like a different person, like this. But He'd have it no other way. <laughs> Justin feeds off the competition and the pride that comes with victory. He can only hope to change people's minds about the sport along the way. I try to give uh, the opposite stereotype of what most people have of fighting as being, you know, oh, it's so barbaric, it's just two guys beating the heck out of each other, but I try to show the softer side, I guess you would say. Amy Lester, <laughs> News 9. And Justin trained for nearly two years before his first fight. He wanted to make sure he was ready to win. <laughs>